Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my kitchen. We are going to be making a cool paleo appetizer called avocado deviled eggs. I'm going to get right into it. This recipe can be made for eight eggs or six eggs. I'm making six eggs, uh, but if you want to use eight, use eight jumbo eggs and just add another avocado to the, to the dish. But we're going to do it with six. I have six medium sized eggs, one avocado, two tablespoons of extra olive oil, one teaspoon of lemon juice, a half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of finely ground pepper, and a half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. You can buy smoked paprika in the store, but I tend to uh, like to make my own paprika, so I'll take the paprika, I'll toast it in my saute pan, and then what I'll do is I'll just wait for the pan to start to smoke and put a lid over it, and hence I can make some smoked paprika. But you can buy smoked paprika in the store. So what we're going to do is we're going to get started by first of all peeling the avocado, cutting the eggs in half, and, and scooping out the yolks. And uh, we're going to keep the egg whites complete. We don't want to do anything to mess up the egg whites. And what I did here is I just boiled a, uh, an egg for about three and a half minutes in boiling water. The usual mistake people make with eggs in hard boiling them is they add them to the water before they boil. Always add eggs to boiling water. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of the ingredients that you see here with the avocado, mix them up. You can put it in a food, pro a food processor too. Uh, if you have a blender, you can blend it in here. I like to just use a fork to mash it up and then a whisk to uh, cream it out. Uh, then we'll add the egg white egg yolks back into the bowl and, and mix those in again. And then we'll go ahead and pipe them into the empty egg white shells. And uh, it will look wonderful. We're going to add a little touch of chopped parsley and smoked paprika to garnish the eggs. And you'll see that at the end. All right, so let's get started first and let's get our avocado in the bowl. Okay, first thing we've got here is we've got our avocado. I'm going to just take the uh, labels off of the, the vegetable here because you don't want those labels uh, when you cut the avocado to follow the knife inside to the meat and then hence you get a mouthful of labels. So I'm going to cut the avocado on the side like so and we're just going to move all the way around like that. I'm going to show you a common mistake people make with avocados. See the top there? I cut all the way around. When you break it in like so and you move it out, you can see that the lip is missing. That's because it's you've pushed it inside the avocado's corner. So you always want to make sure that you don't have that stem pushed into the corner uh, of the avocado. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this, the seed first and I can do that by just doing that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take our spoon and we're going to scoop this out and put it in the bowl. Okay, I have the bowl here and I'm going to show you what I was talking about in just one second. I'm going to go ahead and pull this avocado out by tracing the bottom of the bowl. And as you can see right here, there's that core. Make sure you never drop the core into your avocado mix. All right, so we're going to do the other side now. Get rid of that core. Okay, we're going to do the other side now. And get that avocado in there. Make sure you're getting all that meat in there. A medium ripe avocado, nothing that's too soft, uh, but nothing that's too hard either. And now what we're going to do is just take our fork and mash that up. Okay, I got a fork here. I'm just going to go ahead and start mashing up the avocado inside the bowl here like so. And what's going to be really cool is when you add the olive oil to this mix, you're actually kind of making this into an almost an avocado mayonnaise um, because you're going to be adding the egg yolks to this afterwards. And even though they're hardened, they're still going to have the same effect. So there we are. We have the avocado mashed up. I'm going to add the salt and add the pepper, the lemon juice. And now I'm going to go ahead and add the olive oil. Now I'm going to go ahead and just mix all those ingredients up here, like so. And 
and we're going to put this to one side and then we're going to go ahead and take care of the eggs. Okay, here we have the eggs. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and cut the eggs in half, making sure we keep the egg whites whole when we cut them. So let's make sure we don't make any mistakes and cut too quickly and break the egg white, okay? Just very smooth cuts down the middle like so. And in this case, you're going to come up with 12 shells. If you used 8 eggs, you'll come up with 16. Now you're going to take your bowl of avocado mix and you're going to just simply empty the egg yolk into the avocado like so. Again, making sure you're keeping the integrity of the egg white so we can refill it. Now I'm going to do the rest of the eggs. All right, I have the egg uh, yolks put inside the avocado mixture. I'm just going to go ahead and mash those into the mixture as well. And again, if you have a food processor or a blender, you can do that. I just prefer to do things by hand myself um, just because it's less cleaning and I have more control over the consistency of how I want um, you know, the mixture to become. I'm done with the fork. I'm going to go ahead and use a whisk now just so I can whisk it, whisk it up and whip this mix up and make it a lot smoother. And this mix is almost ready for a little bit of piping. Now if you wanted to make this you know a little spicy you could put some chili powder in it or you could put some Tabasco sauce in there. Um, if your paleo diet of course allowed you to use Tabasco all right, so there we go. We're all done, and of course that looks nothing like it did just a moment ago. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this in a piping bag. If you don't have a piping bag, you can always just use a spoon. It's not fancy, um, but I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So let's make that happen. All right, here I have a piping bag here, and uh, it's rather large, so I'm going to cut it a little more down to size here because we don't need it that big. There we go, a little more to work with there. And I'm just going to get a spatula and I'm going to take the contents and put it in my bag. All right, so I'm just going to take the spatula now, nice creamy sustenance. And the olive oil really helps make this as creamy as it is. Like I said, you're almost creating an avocado mayonnaise here. I'm just going to put all of it in the bag. Okay, so I have the mixture in the bag. I simply take my hand leaving the corner of the bag open like so and push down like that. And now I have the bag pretty much right where it needs to be to pipe. Uh, I'm going to cut the nip off right here and that should let the air come right through. And if you have a pastry bag where you have little inserts, you can always put the insert in first. Um, but that's not what I'm going to do here because most people don't have these. If you really wanted to get um, creative, you could also use a sandwich bag and do it twice, do two sandwich bags. So you can do that too. All right, as you can see, I have all my eggshells in a nice little white plate here. I'm just going to go ahead and pipe the mixture in to each egg like so. And you don't want to fill them up too much because if you do, you may not have enough to, to go towards the end. So just make sure you filled all of them first. And now, as you can see, I have more than enough. Now I can start topping stuff off, making it look really cool. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to finish this off by making this look really cool. And when I, I'll, I'll get to that in a second, but I just want to show you something. When you have this much left, you could use this for a number of things. Use it for a salad. Uh, you could use it on a steak. Uh, you could use it with some chicken and sprinkle some uh, diced tomatoes. Keep this in your refrigerator. It'll last for at least three days. You've got lemon juice in it, so it'll work. Don't throw it out. Keep it, in, uh, keep it in your refrigerator for other uses. Okay, now the final touches. We're going to go ahead and take that paprika we had, that smoked paprika. We'll just take a little sprinkle and put it on each one of the eggs like that. 
Try not to get it on the white part of the egg, just on the green. <laughs> green, get it? Usually this is supposed to be yellow, but today it's green. Okay? And it just looks so dramatic doing that. And smoked paprika really just has a great flavor. And then here I have some uh, parsley. I'm just going to hit each egg with a little bit of parsley, like so. And this is okay. If you get the parsley on the white, that's fine. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. You have avocado deviled eggs. And remember to add the lemon juice to the recipe because the lemon juice will help preserve this. So for whatever reason, if you don't eat all of these in one day, the avocado won't go brown and you'll be able to serve these the next day. Tend to have 24 to 48 hour shelf life. Make sure you cover it and bon appetit.